Now, the sad thing about using a computer is that every so often, you just simply have to use Microsoft Windows. Now, there could be many different reasons for this. Whether that's, you know, because you want to run a specific piece of software, your hardware doesn't support Linux, and, you know, you just simply want to, maybe. There's various reasons why you might decide to run Microsoft Windows. But no doubt, Windows has a great deal many problems. And today, I'm going to sort of be showing a program that I think solves among the biggest problems on Windows and those problems pertain to package management and I'm going to be showing this program right now on Linux Lounge. Now this big problem with Windows that I refer to is all to do with package management. Now in Windows I suppose the way that most people would do it is you install all of your programs and most of them will have auto updaters of some kind but many programs do not so in order to keep those programs up to date you would have to go around the internet and one by one check to see if there are any updates and another problem with Windows is there is no centralized place to update all of your programs along with the system uh, whereas in Linux we have package managers However, to, in today's video, I'm going to be sort of showing a package manager, but for Windows. Now, it doesn't update the system, and there's a few caveats, but this program is called Chocolatey, and I will say that right off the bat, this program takes Windows from being unusable to being vaguely usable. It's that great. Now, first, let's sort of pull up the website. As you can see, it is a package manager for Windows. And there's various different sort of uh, advertisements and stuff about the capabilities of this program. It's trusted for business, which I can see why you would want to use this in a business setting. There are various chocolatey tools, but we'll get onto those later. And there's a few various other odds and ends. As you can see, there are many, many community packages. So I suppose you can kind of think of this as perhaps being the AUR for Windows. And that analogy holds up in many cases because these programs are not held on a centralized server. Essentially what you are downloading is a script that will go and download the program for you and keep it up to date. Now, uh, to install Chocolatey, this isn't sort of... Um, like any other Windows program, it's a bit different. And what you have to do in order to un install it is go ahead and launch the command prompt, which is where you will be using Chocolate from for the most part, and go ahead and copy and paste this command. You can also install this from the PowerShell. Now, what that will do is it will go down and install Chocolatey. Very simple. And then, once you've got it installed, you can start managing installing and uninstalling programs with it, much like a Linux package manager. So, to start this demonstration, let's install a program. So, for example, let's choco install Winamp. And if you know what you want to install, it's very simple. It will just go ahead and download it and then you agree to run the script and it will then go ahead and install it and as you can see that's installing um, now of course I wouldn't condone installing Winamp but it's a good example it's a popular Windows program it says it's installed so then we go into our start menu and search up Winamp and there it is but let's say we don't know what program we want to install and we want to search for a program and there's sort of three ways to do this I suppose. The first is going onto the website and you can search your program so let's say we wanted to install Audacity. Well search it up and you will get various different results and you have a page which will tell you the last time it's updated, how many times it's been downloaded, that sort of thing. and some packages get uh, verified as trusted packages. 
which is useful. And you get two separate commands for managing this specific program. So if you don't know what you're doing, simply copy paste that in and it will go ahead and install it for you. Another way to do it, uh, which is sort of more in line with what you would get on Linux, is you can go ahead and search for packages like this. And it will give you a list of programs that you can install, whether or not they're approved, that sort of thing. Um, and there's a third way which involves going through a GUI, but we'll get onto that later. Now, let's say we want to remove a program. Now, the traditional way to do that on Windows would be to go into the control panel, uninstall programs, and remove it that way. However, Chocolatey also takes care of this for us because there is Choco Remove. So let's say we want to remove Winamp, uh, or rather Chocolatey or Choco Uninstall not remove and it will go ahead and remove it for us and you won't see anything on screen no uninstallers or anything like that and there you go it will go ahead and auto uninstall it for us now this is where chocolate you start to get really useful let's say we want to upgrade our programs well chocolatey will also take care of that assuming the package is maintained well, to do that, you would go ahead and type in Choco Upgrade, and at that point, you can either select a specific program to upgrade, or Choco Upgrade All, which will go through all of your installed programs, and check for updates. As you can see, it's found one. Um, and what that will do is essentially it will uh, enable us to just go ahead and auto update our programs. Now, the only sort of caveat with this is you might accidentally update something twice if the program you're updating already has an automatic update there. And I suppose a potential solution to that is to only manage packages that do not have an automatic update through Chocolatey. However, it seems to work absolutely fine just leaving it as is and letting it install its updates. Um, and I've sort of been using Chocolatey like that for a little bit and everything seems to work fine. So I would uh, say that, you know, in terms of updating, everything works and just generally this is a fantastic program. Now, that was the command line. However, a lot of Linux distributions have a graphical program manager and so does chocolatey if we go back to the main page scroll down a bit and as you can see they have listed the chocolatey GUI and the commands you can simply copy paste to install it now I wish they would bundle this by default because a lot of Windows users aren't gonna know what they're doing in terms of the uh, command line however it is here and you can install it quite easily so once you've installed it simply type in um, your chocolate GUI it will ask for admin rights which uh, the command line version needs to run as well um, and it will then go ahead and give us a list of install programs what the latest version is uh, but also if we want to install programs we can simply go on there and then search them However, I will say it does take a lot to load and is nowhere near as quick and effective as the command line version. But if you really don't know what you're doing with the command line, this will work absolutely fine. And you can use this to just get anything that you would need to get done, done. So I think that's really all I've got to say about chocolate. All in all, it's a absolutely fantastic program. And I think anyone who is using Windows should have this installed and I also believe that Microsoft should be working on getting something like this bundled with Windows by default because it really does make everything that bit more usable um, so you know you'd never have any out-of-date packages with this um, it would make package management vastly easier so really I would say anyone who is using Windows I will put a link in the description get this installed give it a try because this has for me significantly changed the way that I sort of use Windows 
and made it actually usable, which is um, quite an achievement for this little program. Um, but yeah, strongly recommended. Um, and I think that's really all I've got to say with this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.